Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Accounting Fun 101. So we're now going to do exercise 7-24, Bank Reconciliation and Adjusting Entries. So Murder, She Wrote, or Angela Lansbury Company, or uh, The Queen of Hearts, or From Manchurian Candidate, or my favorite, which is Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Have fun searching all those. I uh, deposits all receipts and makes all payments by check. The following information is available from the cash records. So over here, um, balance per bank, deposits and transit, deduct outstanding checks, so the balance per books is 6,540. Uh, we look over here at July per bank, per books, July deposits, July checks, uh, July note collected, not included in the deposits, bank service charge, a non-sufficient NSF check returned by the bank, recorded by the bank as a charge. Okay, so what we're gonna go through and do is we're gonna basically reconcile the book balance and then the bank balance. So right over here, balance per books, balance per bank, okay. So the first thing we're gonna go through here and we're gonna go ahead and look at is the, basically the balance. So my balance as of July 31st per books, it was 92.50. The bank balance was 86.50. Okay. So over here, deposits in transit. Okay. so. If my, um, if basically my July deposits per the bank were 5,000, uh, this is interesting. Why is it interesting? Because essentially this bank balance is going to include this 1540. So the actual deposits per the bank for July is gonna be, so this is 5,000. However, this is going to include 1540. So the true bank deposits are going to be here at 3,460. And if I compare this to my balance per my books at 5810, the true deposit in transit is gonna be 2,350. So let's take a step back for a second. Okay. When I look at what I'm going through and I'm adjusting these balances. So when I see my balance as of July 31st per the bank is 8,650. My balance per my books is 9,250. What I need to do is to reconcile these through. And typically what you're gonna see here are basically checks. Uh, what are the differences gonna be? It's gonna be things like deposits and transit, outstanding checks. So when we go through and look at this over here, when I see this July deposit, that means that the bank deposited $5,000 during the month. Well, they did 5,000 during the month, but this is gonna include the deposit in transit from June because those cleared in July. So another way to look at this is if we say my bank deposits in July were 5,000 per the books, this is really gonna be 1540 from June. And then from July, this is gonna be 5810. So the total deposits when I'm comparing it to this $5,000, because this is the actual amount deposited, is going to be 7,350. 
when I subtract these two amounts here, I get 2350. So my deposit in transit per the bank is going to be 2350 because these are the deposits that are on my books that have not yet been captured by the bank. Okay, so that's deposits. Let's take a look at the checks. So essentially we're gonna to have to do the same thing. So the checks per bank in July were 4,000, okay? Here per books, for the checks, I'll give myself a little bit more room. Here for the checks per books, you had June and then you had July. So I had, so $2,000 hadn't cleared and then I only wrote 3,100. And so this is why this is showing up as being a little bit more, but in June I had 2,000. In July I had 3,100. So my total amount of checks that I've written or that I have to reconcile to, to the bank is actually really 5,100. So my outstanding checks is going to be 1,100. And where did I get the 1,100 from? The 1,100 is going to be the difference between the 4,000 or 5,100 minus 4,000 or 1,100. So I add in to the bank, I'm adding in the deposits in transit, I'm subtracting out the checks that have been going, that have already been cleared on my, on my books. So that should get me to pretty close to what my balance for my books is gonna go through and be. Let's go ahead and go keep going. So July note collected was $1,000 and this was not included in our July deposits. So the note collected, this is gonna be a $1,000 addition to my, uh, basically, to my book balance because this is not being reflected in my book balance. The July bank service charge is gonna be 15 bucks. And then the NSF check, which means non-sufficient funds this is also, I need to adjust my books downward. And this is gonna be by 335. So theoretically, if I add up these balances here, and if I balance, it's gonna be a small miracle. Wow, I still have it, I haven't lost it yet. Wow, okay. And I just have to read off the teleprompter more often, it can really help me out. Okay, so right over here, I've reconciled my bank accounts. So let's, let's take a look at this again over here because the way this was worded was actually kind of tricky. But if we kind of think it through, it'll somewhat make sense. So over here, when I go through and I do this type of question, well, let's bring these guys over. Okay, so typically what I do with my balance per bank is I'm gonna have my beginning balance plus any deposits in transit minus any outstanding checks. So what is a deposit in transit? Well, it's a, it's a deposit I've made onto my books, but it hasn't yet been cleared yet by the bank. What is an outstanding check? It is a check that I have written on my books, but it has not yet cleared the bank. So that's what those definitions are. The only other thing that could potentially go into a, onto this bank reconciliation would be in the event if I had something along the lines of a 
um, what would it be, a bank error, then I would have to adjust that balance, but that's not the case here. So when I look at outstanding checks, and the reason why this is so tricky is that, well, my, the, the, let's, let's first take a look at deposits. So during the month I deposited five, so the bank cleared 5,000, okay? But how much did I really, when I'm looking at that, I don't know how much of this relates to the prior month. So what I need to do is I need to add up my deposits and transit for both June and July, and I get to 7,350. So this was the total amount that I deposited between the months. And so when I compare this to what was cleared, the true amount of the deposit and transit is 2,350. Let's look at this one over here. So outstanding checks. So over here, I don't know what actually cleared the bank. Was this any part of the 2000? And even here too, because I only wrote in 3,100, this amount is higher. So I know that this has to be including some of the parts here. So what I need to do is I need to say, okay, what were my checks that I wrote? Well, I've got my outstanding checks here of two grand plus the checks that I wrote during the month of 3,100. So this is the total amount of checks that I have out there. The bank only cleared 4,000. So my outstanding checks are 1,100. And as I'm saying this right now, this is really not even a deposit in transit. I made 58.10 in deposits during the month, plus I had these that hadn't cleared. So that's where I'm getting over here to this 23.50. Okay, on the book side over here, I've got the note collected, the July service charge, and the non-sufficient funds check. So that's the reconciliation. I can't believe I actually balanced it, it was like a miracle. Okay, so when I look over here, whenever I have to do journal entries, I'm only gonna be required to do them for the book balances. If you see a positive amount, it means it's going to be a debit to cash. So let's go through and do these ones right over here. So, okay, so right over here, my debit to cash is going to be, because I have a thousand, so this is a note collected. So over here, this is gonna be as of July 31st, this is gonna be a thousand dollars, and I'm gonna credit here note receivable for a thousand. Okay. Over here for the July service charge. Okay. If you see a negative amount, it means it's a credit to cash. So this here is going to be for 15, 15. And then over here on 731 to record the NSF check, I know I'm crediting cash for 335. Now, what exactly, how did this arrive? Is I debited cash and I credited accounts receivables or revenues. So this means that the customer still owes me the money. So I'm gonna debit here accounts receivable, and this is to record NSF check. Okay, cool. So hopefully you found this fun as I did. I always like doing this without reading the solution manuals and seeing what happens. It's like, wow, I actually can get stuff right every once in a while. Okay, everybody have a great one. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'll see you soon. Have a good day.